Hi, welcome to the Mass Hire Career Center system. If you've been scheduled through your local career center to attend a WebEx virtual career center seminar or workshop and wish to do so through your mobile device, this video is going to demonstrate how to download, install, configure, and launch your iOS mobile device, whether it's an iPhone or an iPad. Let's get started. Okay, we're at the home screen of your iOS mobile device, whether this is going to be your iPhone or iPad. And from here, we're going to navigate over to the App Store. And at the App Store is where we're going to get that WebEx application. Okay, so we're going to come up here to search. And we'll just type in WebEx. Okay, we'll hit enter. We'll choose 6 WebEx, and then here we are. We're going to download, which will download and install this application. Now, please remember this is about 46 to 48 megabyte download, so depending on your connection, um, it could take a minute to a few minutes. So you want to just be patient, but it looks like it's up and running and almost done. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and open this. And Cisco is asking you to agree to their, uh, the terms of service and the privacy statement. So we're going to just go ahead and accept that. Okay. And from here, you're going to get this screen and we're going to abandon this screen. We're not going to sign in. We're not going to join meeting because there's really no meeting to join. Now that the application's on your phone, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to your email. We're going to go to that WebEx invitation that was sent to you by the Career Center. And from there, we're going to go through the registration process, and then we're going to actually go into a live session, whether it's a seminar or a workshop, and we're going to do that right here on this iPhone. So let's get started. Okay, so what I've done is I've navigated over to, on my iPhone, over to my Gmail app, and I'm now inside my email inbox, and I'm taking a look at the invitation that the local Career Center has just sent me uh, to attend a Career Center seminar. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into this uh, into this email and we're going to register for this CCS seminar. Now, opening up the email, you can see all this information. Hello, Jen Jones, Mass Hire Metro North chain, uh, is inviting you. This is this is an updated email actually. It gives the topic, the Career Center seminar, um, the host, the date, and the time. So we're going to come over here. As you can see right here, it has. To register for this session, go to this URL. We're going to go ahead and go there. I guess we can open that with Chrome. And you're going to have, this is going to pop up. So what you're going to want to do is you want to go want to register. Okay. And from here, we're just going to put in Jones. Metro North Career Centers at gmail.com. Okay. And then we're going to hit submit. Now, please note that you may have an additional field here if your local career center wants you to uh, provide your job seeker ID. Some may, some, say, some may not. But in this case, we just have the first name, last name, and email address. So we're going to go ahead and click submit. And done. You registered for this session. This is fantastic. It was easy process. Now what's going to happen is you can see just popped up on the screen into my Gmail inbox is another email has come in from the Career Center. So when you register, it auto replies with the another email and inside that email is going to be the URL link to the session that you're going to attend, whether it's going to be a Career Center seminar or a workshop. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at that right now. And, and you can see the second email right here. And the difference being, before it said to register, and now if you look down here, it says to join the training session, go to this URL. Now please keep in mind that um, the, the, the training session or the workshop um, may be a week from now. It may be a couple of days from the time that you are registering. So if you attempt to join now, you won't be able to get into the session because it's actually not 
up and working. It's not live. So please wait for the date and time uh, for, for that session. And then you go ahead and you'll click that URL uh, to go to that session. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually go into the session, show you how the application works, uh, some of the buttons and the controls, and kind of give you a feel of what the experience is like. Okay, so we're going to go right into the session right now, which is now live. And I'm going to go ahead and we're going to choose that. We'll open it again with the Chrome. Chrome wants to open WebEx Meet. We'll say yes to that. Okay, and it's asking for our name. So I put in Jen Jones and Metro Career Centers at gmail.com. I'm going to say OK. Would like to access your microphone. Now, what's happening here is it's configuring. Uh, your application to work with the session. So you want to make sure you agree to everything. So we're going to say OK. We're going to say OK again. And then choose how you want to connect to audio. So if you look over here where it says use internet for your audio, that's what you're going to want to use because that's the, the, the device that is built, the audio device built into your, your iOS mobile device. So we want to use that. Now, should that not be working or malfunctioning, you can always choose call in and then you would go back to the email and you would get the call in number along with the meeting number uh, to try to attend that way should this not be working. But for right now, we're going to use internet for audio. Now, if you look down here, we have what looks like a little microphone and a video camera. So right now, um, with the red slash through it, that means that um, my microphone is muted, nobody can hear me, and also my camera is off. Should you turn these on um, and you go into the session, you'll be heard and seen. Now, some career centers, based on local best policy practices, may have removed this functionality, whether it's the sound or the camera, when they were setting up the session. So it may not work, it, you know, based on the way they want to facilitate the session. They've disabled these components. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go in without any audio or video, and we're just going to join the session. And say okay. Swipe right. Okay. We are now in the session. We are connected. We're going to toggle this little arrow button here. And now we can see, I can see myself, Jen Jones, and Mass Hire Metro North host. That's going to per be the staff person facilitating uh, the Career Center seminar or the workshop that you'll be attending. Um, and we can go ahead and we can attempt to put the video on. Start my video. And there it is. I'm actually holding uh, my iPhone in my left hand. And, and you'll be able to transmit your video. Should that be allowed? Uh, again, the career centers may uh, desire to have this, this function disabled uh, best on, based on local best policies. So um, again, so and again, here is the microphone. And you can unmute yourself. And as I'm talking, you can see the little uh, the green bar rising up and down. And if you want to mute yourself, you just can mute yourself there. Okay. Well, that is it. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope this helps you with your experience in in attending a virtual career center seminar or a workshop. And thank you for watching.